Peace, peace, family. So I'm back with another one. Today what I wanted to do is I wanted to talk to my chosen ones about how the enemy says so you think you know it all. No, we don't know it all. But we are in a place in our lives and our journey where we have a lot of answers, you know. And I feel like it's okay for us to get to a space to where we're comfortable with understanding that we do have a lot of answers. Like, we put in a lot of time and energy into studying human behaviors, into studying and learning ourselves, into studying and learning the beings around us. You know what I mean? So, it's kind of like someone who's not a doctor telling a doctor that they think they know it all because they can heal you and help you and they do have a lot of answers to questions that you may have you know they may not have all the answers as far as like every single thing that you need to fix this portion that portion but they have a good portion of answers that's why we go to the doctors so on a percentage scale because y'all know i do everything on a percentage scale on a percentage scale you could say like the doctor got about 80 percent of the answers you know not saying that these doctors in the western society is all legit you know what i mean they witchy doctors but still they still have a lot of answers in that department so it's no different than us or going to a therapist you know what i mean it's just a lot of these witchy beings tend to feel as though you have to have that piece of paperwork to validate your real life experiences the things that you've been through the things that you've taught learned and experienced you know what i mean and that's clearly not always the case you don't always need paperwork to validate these things you know what i mean so <clears throat> to me i always feel like you know, even when I was younger, being around certain people, if I valued them, I usually value what they said. You know, so that's why I would tend to ask these other beings certain kind of questions or I would go to them about certain kind of events or things that's happening to me. You know, but in today's society, we got a lot of beings who aren't in that same space, but they are looking for those same accommodations. You know, so it's like you watch videos on people who's talking about let's say the things that i discuss you know but then you have me in real life and instead of taking my answers that i'm giving you that i share on the digital realm you know instead of you taking this as okay he is being wholeheartedly genuinely sincere this is how he is in real life this is what he's teaching so if he's telling me this that means that he have to put a lot of faith and belief behind it so why should i not listen to him and have to listen to someone else you know another being another entity so when people say that oh some people just have a hard time hearing it from close to them that's oppositional that is oppositional you know when you process it that way you have to look at somebody as an enemy in order to not be willing to take in what they're saying and if you don't see them as an enemy willing to take in what they're saying you have to take them as a lesser or lower than you you know what I'm saying? And even if we look at the facts, even those things, it's still on a percentage scale. It's okay if somebody is 7 and you're 37 and you're higher up on a scale or something than them. You can still learn from these beings, you know. But the process, the way it's set up, it's not, it's not built that way, you know. So even when you engage with people and you know you put a lot of time into studying and learning knowledge, you put a lot of time into studying and learning yourself, put a lot of time in studying to follow the creator the you know the most high you put a lot of time in to just human behavior in general you know what i mean so that is going to be one of those things where people feel as though they can manipulate you in that area and say things like oh you don't have all the answers or some motherfuckers be witchy as fuck and they'll tell you like oh you got all the answers you got all the answers when you know damn well you don't have all the answers you just have a lot of answers it's the difference between having a lot of answers and then having all the answers you know what i'm saying the most high the creator got all the answers i would never put myself or say that i got all the answers but if you talk to me about basketball football mortal Kombat, you know all these low vibrational things i don't mean anything that i knew a lot about when i was younger i'm pretty knowledgeable and i'll feel pretty confident you know what i mean so you have to understand the difference between like how people are beating and belittling your confidence and your knowledge versus you know you just not putting enough emphasis and weight on it yourself that's where the big difference comes in that you have to put the emphasis and the weight on it yourself because these other beings are not going to do it and you shouldn't expect them to you know 
Especially if you're in the Western society. I'm always going to emphasize that. And y'all already know it's all over the world. I'm not talking about the U.S. All over the world. So, understanding these things. Like, if you are dealing with the Creator and the Most High. And you're following your religious, your beliefs, your way of walking life and all these things. Then you're going to understand that you do have a lot of the answers. And it's okay if people want to make it seem like you're arrogant or ignorant or a quote-unquote dick or all these other things that go hand-to-hand with it, you know what I mean? Because you got to be able to stand solid on something. If you don't stand for something, you won't fall for anything. And we are in a space now to where we've already been falling for everything. So if you don't stand, you're laying on your back. you laying, you sitting on your ass, you know what I'm saying? So we are already at that day and age. A lot of people keep talking about, some, oh, I'm waiting for the market of beast, market of beast. Have y'all ever thought the process that as soon as you got a social security number or birth certificate that that could have been the market of beast? You're already a part of the system. Have y'all not even processed these things? Like everybody looking for these RFID chips to either go into the middle forefront of your, your index finger and your thumb or like something to go in your arm or like all this other weird shit. Like to me, it would make sense if I poison your breakfast food, but then I tell you I'm going to poison your dinner food. Because by that time, you're not looking for it in your breakfast food. You're processing it for dinner time. So I've already poisoned you, and you're sitting there thinking, oh, well, yeah, uh, dinner time, yeah, I got to be careful around dinner time. If we use a little bit of common sense and the knowledge and information and things that the creator had gave us, this would be a lot smoother and easier as far as processing. We would still have to be battling, and we still would be losing soldiers. That's just, that's just how it goes, you know what I'm saying? I feel guilty if I run over a dead squirrel or a dead raccoon. Something that's already dead on the road. Like, every time my car hits it, it's like, ugh. I can feel it in my soul, in my spirit. You know what I mean? So, it's just like the way we all connected out here. Like, I wouldn't take away this tree knowledge and source and information in compared to a tree that hasn't been here as long. It's like they removing all your common sense and knowledge. Like, just this tree has been here longer. It would make more sense for this tree to hold more knowledge. Our elders have been here longer. For the ones that have been processing healthy, it makes more sense to hold knowledge. And the ones who haven't been processing healthy, you can still learn what not to do from them unhealthy motherfuckers. You know what I mean? So it's always a time and space to where we could be bending, molding, folding, and learning. You know? But a lot of people fight the learning part, you know? You don't learn without earning, you know? And you really... I'm going to keep it that way. Most beings, you're not going to learn without earning, but you can earn without learning. You can earn without learning, but you cannot learn without earning. Make it make sense. The creator is always clear. Always. You know what I'm saying? So clearly, we're in a day and age where you can go work at McDonald's. You can go work at a logistics company. You can go work at a hospital. You can be earning, but you're not learning. You're earning, but you're not learning. You know? So put yourself in a position to where you're learning and earning. Doing both hand in hand. And I know it's not easy, especially when you fight in this battle. Because I do this consistently. It should be to infinity and beyond. But I know how I choose to give the knowledge and information it isn't welcome into the system and i don't give a fuck if it is or not you know i'm not here to accommodate them so best thing for them to do is just swipe left on me now so that way they don't even have to worry about trying to trick me into accommodating them we all gotta go we all gotta go we all have nobody gets to stay so i'm not gonna do no weird shit so i can stay a few days longer than the next being that's weird we still gotta go even when they watch we watch movies about people having to fucking outlive or do other things it's always like they always put people in these demonic survival modes where it's like it's just really weird and witchy and it still never even makes sense in the movie that's how i understand it things would never actually formulate that way if we was moving operating the way we're supposed to and if you stood solid on your information that you have you know what i'm saying like to me, my knowledge and information that I've accumulated through my experiences, through studying and learning, and through all my trials and tribulations, the next generation has a different look at me. They still see me, but they don't see me as, you know, some light being who's just running around hot-headed with, you know, quote-unquote 
anger issues, you know what I'm saying, or not even saying I got anger issues, just I'm a, uh, an emotional being, because I've heard that a lot most of my life. Men be like, oh, this nigga's emotional, or, or females uh, might say something in that manner too, but the thing is with me, it's like, I, th my emotions is part of my intelligence, so if, if it was hindering me, then they would be up here doing what I'm doing, they would be speaking more clear, they would be giving more knowledge and information, but they are not. You have to understand a lot of beings who move in with the creator move unorthodox. We have an unorthodox method because we go with the flow. So it's it's hard to keep up with how something is trying to direct itself when it's moving with the current of the river. So instead of me sitting here paddling, you know what I'm saying? I just kick my feet up and I flow with the canoe. You know, I can make this a little bit more overwhelming and fight the currents over here and over there but it's it's a, it's a lot easier when i just lay back and process all right the universe got me and it's gonna take care of me long as i keep making these sacrifices and moving in my light and making sure i'm doing everything with the best intentions possible you know what i'm saying you got to make the sacrifices with the younger generation between my daughter and my nephews and nieces and shit like i don't give a damn how an adult sees me or or looks at me like Y'all niggas has already been programmed. Why you think the system don't even give a fuck about y'all? They focus on the next generation. So anybody that wants to make a real change, it's going to focus on the next generation. That's just how it fucking works. So if all the grown ass adults around me want to look at me like I'm a dick or say I'm a demon or I just move differently or I don't care about their feelings and care about these feelings and all this stuff, I don't give a fuck about any of that. The next generation is willing to reach out to me. You know what I'm saying? I got my younger ones that stay reaching out to me, whether they just need some advice, some energy, anything. But I didn't have that, and I wasn't doing that on the opposite end of the spectrum when things were shifted around. You know what I'm saying? You don't break generational curses and do it with a bunch of people around you, especially with a lot of people in your family because they are the curse. You know what I mean? So just understanding that you do have a lot of answers. Like, it's okay. If we have a lot of answers, that don't mean we have all the answers. That don't mean that we're the best thing smoking and walking. That just means that we've been studying in that field for a long time. That's all that means. So if somebody wants to be weird and witchy about some shit, oh, yeah, you make it seem like you know it all. You got all the answers, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Stand solid. Yes, bitch, I do have a lot of answers. I don't have all the answers. But the way my team is set up, the more I sacrifice, the more I keep moving in my light and doing things righteously and genuinely, the more access I get to different levels and the universe sends me more information. I don't physically grow taller like a tree, but I am growing spiritually so I can access different heights and frequencies. You know what I mean? We do we do know a lot of things. We do have the answers. If what I was saying wasn't valid, then my the younger generation wouldn't be able to take uncle information and then correspond it with my sisters, siblings, or or their peers and things and then have it make sense to them. That wouldn't be a thing, you know what I mean? So it's only but so much invalidating you're gonna be able to do, you know? And that's the thing with standing with the most high. It could be a hundred people going against you, but you still gonna stand solid because that one entity is more powerful than all of this shit they try to accumulate together, you know what I mean? That's just the process, you know. If we want to take the easy route in the Western society, you know how to coon. You know how to do ratchet shit. You know how to follow the crowd. You know how to do just regular basic nigga shit. Regular basic bitch shit. You know what I'm saying? You know how to just constantly be combative to righteous beings. You know what I'm saying? You know how you can figure out how to be selfish to the most dis disgusting degree to be able to put yourself over people to you just stepping and walking on all over the people possible you know what i mean so a lot of people are using the wrong playbook and they don't give a fuck about it they don't give a fuck about it you're processing things about killing yourself harming yourself you know you got a lot of rage built up in you you're angry like your facial muscles is always like in some weird state you know every other minute like you in some emotional place where you're crying and you don't have anything of substance going on to put you in that state a lot of beings will create and conjure up some kind of sympathy empathy act you know what i'm saying because it it kind of helps control the narrative you know what i'm saying and it helps control the emotions 
of their theirs which they don't really have much control of but it definitely dictates the other beings outside of them if they are communicating around highly empathetic beings or just people who just genuinely might care about their ass you know what i'm saying but in their world the opposition tells them that people don't care see when we get our food fed to us from the creator they don't tell us that because everything is plentiful it's enough for everybody so we don't get those same thoughts fed to us and even if we do our team is strong enough to counter the thought process you know that's just how it works but i ain't running up too long you know what i'm saying we don't have all the answers but we do have a lot of answers you know what I'm saying? And it's okay to stand solid in having a lot of answers. It don't matter if you don't have all the money. You can still have a lot of answers. You know what I mean? And even if you do got some money, it's okay to still have a lot of answers. It's not like, oh, yeah, you cheated your way because you got a couple dollars. Like, that's not everybody's method, but it is in Western society most. That's just how it's set up. That is most. It's not all, but it's most. You know what I'm saying? Tapping everything down below. Peace and love to the kings and queens.